synth drones. Today we're going to be talking about wireless headphones for the studio. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone, and this is my vlog where I talk about synthesizers. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, tap that bell, so you can keep up with all of my synth adventures. Well, I'm working today in the studio, as I do every single day. Uh, and, you know, I was using these headsets right here. Let me bring them over here to you guys. And these are really nice studio open back headphones. And I don't know if you can get to I'm trying to get that. There you go. K240 Studios. Uh, just under $60 after taxes at my local music store. Love them. They're fantastic. You use them for all of my mixing when I'm mixing down to send off to get mastered. Um, it has a real long cable here. Dangling it in front of the camera. The problem that I have with it is that it keeps getting tangled up around my feet, uh, around my chair's arm, and around the wheels of my chair. Uh, as you can see, I have to move around quite a lot to get to my gear. And when I roll around back through here, um, it just becomes really messy. So I got tired of that when I'm just trying to play around and get some sounds going and I'm not really needing super duper sound quality. Not that what I'm about to tell you doesn't give you great sound quality because it does. I picked these up at my local retail store. They are Black Webs. They're about $24. Uh, to $29, depending on which of the retail outlets you go to. And they're black web, like I said, and they're Bluetooth. So you just basically keep these on your head with no wire, obviously. And then what I do is I hook them with this little splitter that I also got at this retail. So my wired headsets... My wire headset is going through one and then the Bluetooth transmitter through the other one. The only downside is that when you're playing a key, you can feel a micro, micro delay in the sound transmission. And it, it, it's, you know, it's very, 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 very small of a delay. Uh, but for sound sculpting, trying to get the sounds that you're looking for, freedom to walk around, stand up when you need to uh, without tripping over the wire, taking the chance that the wire is going to get hung up on some gear and knock them over. Uh, there's been times where it's gotten on my virus C, wrapped around through here and stuff. And I don't know. Uh, I think wires are alive because... Just, just look at the mess. I had uh, these wires in my studio perfectly laid out and tied back, and then I had to do some changes. And before you knew it, I've got wires scattered everywhere. I personally cannot stand wires getting tangled up. I don't know who does, but um, it seems like one of the biggest things I'm always doing is managing wires. It's like you can't just lay a wire and leave it. I can't. Maybe you can, but I can't. And I've tried so many different things. But when you need to move a synthesizer, you need to move a synth. So I got the wireless headset because I, I was tired of it just getting wrapped around my foot, especially around my chair wheel. I hated that the most. It would get into the groove. I don't even know how these things happen, by the way. It's like it crawled up in it uh, by itself, like it was like alive, and this wire just came up. I used to watch these little uh, cartoons when I was a kid, and sometimes uh, this wire would come alive and wrap itself around stuff. Now I understand why the cartoonist was doing this. But, um, yeah, it, it's a lot more freedom of movement when you have a wireless transmitter and, and there is a, a trade back. Now, I bet you there's probably a, a higher quality 
uh, set of headsets out there that are Bluetooth. And I was looking at uh, maybe converting these into uh, Bluetooth, the uh, K240s, making them into Bluetooth, but I couldn't find anything readily available. And I really didn't want to come into the studio this morning uh, messing with this wire. Uh, yesterday, I had such a close call with it knocking something over that uh, it frustrated me and I, I just said, you know what, I'm going to the store and I'm going to grab something right away and just fix this problem. And if I find something better, I'll grab it. But I, I, I know that there's going to be a, a delay with Bluetooth and uh, this is so minute that uh, it really doesn't bother me. But uh, it, it's helped out a lot already. So I'm in the studio and I'm going to be trying them out for the first time. Uh, in an actual setting where I'm going to be producing some music today. Uh, I've, I've already been playing around with the headsets themselves and noticed that when you do play a couple of keys and uh, you're getting the sound live through the Bluetooth, there is just a tiny little delay. But I think we can live with that. I think I can anyway. I think it's a lot less problematic than, uh, you know, going out and tripping over a wire and knocking something over. That was my biggest concern is I'm wearing these wires through the headset and if they were to get wrapped around me while I'm uh, doing a jam, um, I could be in a jam. I could trip and I could fall and I could knock down a whole uh, rack of gear. So uh, this is also a safety measure as well. So, man, and I still have got to get my studio uh, dismantled and um, redesigned because I need a better flow. Uh, this this is not the original design, and that's why the wi wires are so messed up. Well, you're looking at this rack here because we're talking about wires in this vlog today. And there used to be a table where some of these synthesizers sat on. And... Uh, I decided to get these Jasper stands, and in doing so, uh, I left the wires in place, but disconnected the synths, moved them out of the room, put the stand up, and then moved the synthesizers uh, on the rack. And then some of these synths are new additions, like the Prophet X is, is new to this studio this year, and uh, so are the two uh, Waldorfs on the top. They're, they're new additions, too. So there was a lot of different rearranging. Uh, the same goes for this over here. Uh, again, I had tables holding my synths. And then um, I did a video on do-it-yourself um, synth stands. They were like table stands. And uh, I was using that. And, and they were working, those little stands that I was using. They were little laptop stands that I was using as keyboard stands for the table. But uh, as you can see, they're, they're not going to work with full-size keyboards like this uh, adequately, especially when two keyboards can take up a whole table. You don't want to triple stack anything on a table. I don't. So these Jasper stands uh, giving me four uh, synthesizer stands in one stand itself is, is the perfect solution for me. And then I've got my um, other synth over here, the um, JDXA. So I'm going to have to be, um, well, you know, and I've got a JD-800. I've got a couple of other synthesizers that, that could use racks. So I'm probably going to invest in another Jasper stand and get rid of some of these wires that you're seeing right now out of the way as I redo the entire studio. But the problem is, is that I got to work every day. And uh, I will have to do extra, extra, extra work so that I can take a day off to get um, to get these synthesizers out of here and then place back in. And uh, it's daunting. It's just, um, I'm a procrastinator, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. And uh, I try to make do where I can. And uh, yeah, that's it's starting to frustrate me and that will affect my workflow when I start getting frustrated like that. I think, um, you know, a lot of times when we're not organized, we feel very pressured, very stressed, and I'm starting to feel that. I just want everything uh, a little bit different in here, but that's just me. Anyway, uh, you guys, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and leave a comment. I'm, I'm loving some of the comments that we're getting uh, in the conversations below. I've noticed a lot of you guys uh, are frequent flyers, if you will, okay? 
and uh, you come back for all my videos and you guys are leaving some extremely awesome um, comments and getting conversations started. Uh, this this is awesome because we're sharing in the journey together. I want to hear about what you guys uh, are doing in the comments. And uh, I just love some of the information that I'm picking up in the comments below uh, of these videos. They're just awesome. So uh, I do appreciate all of you guys. And uh, thumbs up to those who uh, come to all my videos and leave a mark in the comments sharing their knowledge. Because uh, that's what this channel is all about is being together. Anyway, uh, until next time, keep calm and synth on. My phone is blowing up and I got to reply to 15 people.